Day 27 we'll go with. <laughs> we have lots of swatches. And working on figuring out interior finishes so that we can buy the right things the first time. We have... We're going to be leaving this um, existing wall without painting it, so we're going to paint our ceiling to match, and that will match with the um, fiberglass that we're leaving on the overcab area. So um, we're getting a flooring that kind of uh, goes with that. The cabinets will have a walnut stain, and then um, some of our curtains will be olive, some of our upholstery will be navy, and then our curtains will probably be a similar um, bone, bone color with some um, geometric patterns on them, and probably navy or black. Cool. So we are finishing, <laughs> oh my gosh, again, um, patching the subfloor, because um, there's always more to patch. So there is this hole back in here, uh, so we've just put this piece in, and there was this hole here that we just patched as well, um, where I think we're just going to squirt some great stuff down into that one to patch that one up. And so back here is where the bed's going, and we're just going to have kind of basically storage all underneath there and uh, kind of garage access um, to storage from the wheelchair doors back there. But we want that to be kind of waterproof, but we don't need to necessarily spend a whole bunch of money um, on the nice flooring that we're doing for the rest of the bus. So we got this nice, cheap... Um, vinyl flooring one piece this stuff so it's a roll I think it's like six feet by eight feet um, it's got kind of a wood grain pattern on it so pretty ish but it's not like the greatest stuff ever um, but it was like 25 bucks it's waterproof um, and it's one sheet so we're just gonna lay it down kind of cut it to size um, and be done with um, the floor underneath the bed so that's exciting that That'll be fairly easy. Hi. Some more stuff on the roof. Yay. This time, a big hole. <laughs> Unlike all the other times. Hear the bros? Oh, yeah. So there's all this stuff, which is maybe fine, but we're just going to go ahead and reseal it because we keep finding leaks and we don't want to keep finding leaks. I haven't noticed anything coming from those, but they looked pretty nasty from the front and didn't look like they were particularly well done, so we're doing them ourselves. Our small win for the day is that the two big pieces of tape up here were just adhesive that were holding something else on here that is not here anymore. So when we pulled that up, there was not a giant hole underneath. It was just beautiful roof. <laughs> and this one that had a big blob of silicone, it was much smaller than expected. And we've got a, it's purple. Oh. Around the edges from the pen. <laughs> <laughs> you said any color. <laughs> oh, it's coming off. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> See, really soon. <laughs> okay. A beautiful little white circle. So we're using this liquid flex seal clear stuff on the roof seam. And that's because they have a crappy design where <laughs> they just used a plastic T-channel between this panel of fiberglass and this panel of fiberglass. And you can see a tiny bit of sealer in there that is all cracking and degraded. And so on the rear seal, we use uh, waterproof tape, but this is going to be way more discreet, so you're not going to be able to tell much that we've um, that we've beefed it up. And it's really laying down nicely. The um, like brush strokes are just kind of disappearing. We're going through and just like jamming it underneath <laughs> the uh, the gaps here, and then it leveled itself out, and we already did this side, and when we pulled up the tape, it just laid right back down really nicely, so, so far we're really digging this product. Yeah.
So our sealant that we did on the top of the front doors, we taped the sides of this to give us nice clean lines for the clear sealant that we just put on. And it just pulled out the sealant that we had put in there like almost a week ago. So that's annoying. Um, but we're planning on going over that again with Dicor because we know and trust Dicor. Um, yeah.